Good morning. Let's come together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we prepare to celebrate Mass this morning, let's first call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us with God our Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Mass is offered today for Leonard Hagerman. O God, who made the bishop, St. Peter Chrysologus, an outstanding preacher of your incarnate word, grant through his intercession that we may constantly ponder in our hearts the mystery of your salvation and faithfully express them in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Let my eyes stream with tears day and night without rest over the great destruction which overwhelms the virgin daughter of my people, over her incurable wound. If I walk out into the field, look, those slain by the sword. If I enter the city, look, those consumed by hunger. Even the prophet, and the priest forage in a land they know not. Have you cast Judah off completely? Is Zion loathsome to you? Why have you struck us a blow that cannot be healed? We wait for peace to no avail, for a time of healing, but terror comes instead. We recognize, O Lord, our wickedness, the guilt of our fathers, that we have sinned against you. For your name's sake, spurn us not. Disgrace not the throne of your glory. Remember your covenant with us, and break it not. Among the nation's idols, is there any that gives rain? Or can the mere heavens send showers? Is it not you alone, O Lord, our God, to whom we look? You alone have done all these things. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. For the, For the glory, glory of your, your name, name, O Lord, Lord deliver, deliver us. us. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. For the, For glory, the glory of your, of your name, name, O Lord, Lord deliver, deliver us. us. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. For, for the, the glory, glory of your, your name, O Lord, Lord, deliver us. Deliver us. Let the prisoners sighing come before you. With your great power, free those doomed to death. Then we, your people, and the sheep of your pasture, will give thanks to you forever. Through all generations, we will declare your praise. For, for the, the glory, glory of your name, name O Lord, Lord, deliver us. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus dismissed the crowds and went into the house. His disciples approached him and said, Explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field. He said in reply, He who sows good seed is the Son of Man. 
The field is the world, the good seed, the children of the kingdom. The weeds are the children of the evil one, and the enemy who sows them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the harvesters are angels. Just as weeds are collected and burned up with fire, so will it be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will collect out of his kingdom all who cause others to sin and all evildoers. They will throw them into the fiery furnace, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of the Father. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Can't help but think of this little patch of uh, flower bed here on the South Dempster as I read that gospel today. You know, it's, it's been overcome with weeds, and we announced on Sunday that whoever wants any lilies or mums out of there, dig them up because it's going to be mowed over. <laughs> but isn't that like the world? Seems sometimes like it's filled with weeds. A lot of bad actors. And sometimes it's hard to find those lilies and flowers in the midst of it all. It's hard to find the good. And that's kind of the point of Jesus' parable. The weeds growing in the, the midst of, of the wheat. The weeds sometimes look like they're going to overcome the wheat. And yet, what he says, if you look real close, you recognize the good. And that's what God especially sees. God sees the goodness of the people of God. And, and, and he says, eventually, into good time, they will shine like the sun in the kingdom of the Father. You know, I, I think the same message is, is heard in, in Jeremiah, the first reading today. Jeremiah has been a preacher of, of repentance and, and calling people to change their ways. And, and finally, when they don't heed, the city is destroyed, people are carried off. And Jeremiah begins today, let my eyes stream with tears day and night without rest over the destruction that overwhelms Jerusalem. And yet then as he goes on, he becomes the great consoler and says, but don't, don't worry. We wait for peace. We recognize that God is in our midst. God to whom we look. It's good advice for us. I, it, it, it tells us don't get discouraged. There's a lot of bad in the world. There's a lot of bad, maybe even in our own lives. But don't get discouraged. God sees the good. And God, in the end, always wins. He has victory over sin and death. So let's place our, our trust in that. Let's, as the psalm says, ask God to deliver us from, from evil. We pray every time in the Lord's Prayer for the glory of your name, O God, and help us to be firm in our faith and our hope and trust that one day we too will shine like the righteous in the kingdom of God. We stand to pray. Glorifying the Lord who is our deliverer, we bring these prayers. We pray that those who are in need of mercy may receive it with abundance. We pray to the Lord. That children in need of safety and protection will be guided to caregivers who rescue them. We pray to the Lord. That people suffering the effects of climate change, especially those whose farmlands lack rain, will be given aid. We pray to the Lord. For those who've had too much rain, <laughs> for, let's pray for good weather for our workers. We pray to the Lord. And for the sick, for those who suffer, that they find relief. We pray to the Lord. Let's pause now for our own prayers and personal intentions. For these intentions and all the needs of our faith community, we pray to the Lord. 
Lord of all creation, may we never forget your graciousness and remembering your goodness. May we be moved in our actions to steward and care for your creation. Through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. It is through your goodness that we've received the bread we offer you, which earth has given, and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. It is through your goodness that we've received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me of my sins. Pray now, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our loving Father. Accept, O Lord, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Truly it is right and just our duty, our salvation at all times to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. So it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all the saints with one heart bless you. We to extol you with the angels and saints as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, with all of our bishops, the clergy, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Thomas More, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Trusting in the love of God, we now pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us from all evil. Lord, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sinfulness, but on the faith of your church and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of that peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. I'll only say the word.
Bless the Lord, O my soul, and never forget all his benefits. Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We go in peace.